Do you know that God's Word is active and alive? Life is a mystery. There's so many questions to ask, but the answers will never satisfy our hearts. We continue to search. That is why let us let God lead our lives through His words, because Yahweh's Word is perfect in every way, how it revives our souls. Yahweh's laws lead us to truth, and His ways change the simple into wise. Yahweh's commands challenge us to keep close to His heart. The revelation light of His Word makes my spirit shine radiant. That is why God's Word is prized like others prize the finest gold. Sweeter also than honey are His living words. Sweet words dripping from the honeycomb. By listening daily to His words, May God's love and guidance be more felt in your daily life. A reading from the first book of Kings. Solomon stood before the altar of the Lord in the presence of the whole community of Israel, and stretching forth his hands towards heaven, he said, Lord, God of Israel, there is no God like you in heaven above or on earth below. You keep your covenant of mercy with your servants who were faithful to you with their whole heart. Can it indeed be that God dwells on earth? If the heavens and the highest heavens cannot contain you, how much less this temple which I have built? Look kindly on the prayer and petition of your servant, O Lord my God, and listen to the cry of supplication which I, your servant, utter before you this day. May your eyes watch night and day over this temple, the place where you have decreed you shall be honored. May you hear the prayer which I, your servant, offer in this place. Listen to the petitions of your servant and of your people Israel, which they offer in this place. Listen from your heavenly dwelling and grant pardon. Responsorial Psalm How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord mighty God! My soul yearns and pines for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh cry out for the living God. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord mighty God! Even the sparrow finds a home and the swallow a nest in which she puts her young, your altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord, mighty God! Blessed they who dwell in your house, continually they praise you. O God, behold our shield and look upon the face of your anointed. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord, mighty God! I had rather one day in your course than a thousand elsewhere. I had rather lie at the threshold of the house of my God than dwell in the tents of the wicked. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord, mighty God! A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. When the Pharisees with some scribes who had come from Jerusalem gathered around Jesus, 
they observed that some of his disciples ate their meals with unclean, that is, unwashed hands. For the Pharisees, and in fact all Jews, do not eat without carefully washing their hands, keeping the tradition of the elders. And on coming from the marketplace, they do not eat without purifying themselves. And there are many other things that they have traditionally observed, the purification of cups and jugs and kettles and beds. So the Pharisees and scribes questioned him, Why do your disciples not follow the tradition of the elders, but instead eat a meal with unclean hands? He responded, Well did Isaiah prophesy about you hypocrites, as it is written, These people honors me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. In vain do they worship me, teaching as doctrines human precepts. You disregard God's commandment, but cling to human tradition. He went on to say, how well you have set aside the commandments of God in order to uphold your tradition. For Moses said, Honor your father and your mother, and whoever curses father or mother shall die. Yet you say, If someone says to father or mother, Any support you might have had from me is Corban, meaning dedicated to God, you allow him to do nothing more than for his father or mother. You nullify the word of God in favor of your tradition that you have handed on, and you do many such things. Let us pray. Keep your family safe, O Lord, with an unfailing care, that relying solely on the hope of heavenly grace, they may be defended always by your protection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen.